So another thing that is uh, another video cut off last last video I was leaving. Uh, let's turn this down. I'm talking about the new age and this whole empowered identity that people have based upon the communities in which they affiliate with. You can be you can be within a community. That doesn't mean that you and you can be within an empowered community and, and be within a system or around people that are empowered or knowledgeable. And that doesn't make you knowledgeable, and it also doesn't make the the threat or the apparent threat to this system any more, any more than, you know, what it's just appearing to be. It appears a lot of the times to be something, but it's not really anything. So, what are we, that's what I was referencing in reference to the difference between potential and kinetic energy. Right now, there's so much information, there's so much, there's so much, uh, There's so much there's so much information available to people, but the information is not it's not a threat at all if nobody does anything with it. So with this video, I wanted to go into the ideas of this kind of fake or false empowerment that happens when we affiliate with some kind of group or belief or mindset. So you can see that the scientism community prides itself in being super knowledgeable about theories, like the theoretical universe. It, it loves being that guy. And then you have truthers, and then you have conspiracy theorists, and you have, I mean, even more obviously, you have, like, with Democrats and Republicans. So you have Democrats and Republicans, they both think they're the superheroes. <laughs> and, and, you know, you have people who used to be Democrats and people who used to be Republicans. And you have, I mean, it, it's gone, it's all over the place. It's just a matter of what demographic that individual, like intellectual demographic that that individual is comfortable with. And there's so many different there's so many different uh, choices available for people out there that you know the distraction alone is enough to make somebody believe that what they're doing is the only thing that they need to be doing. Just like society tells you, the only thing that you need to do is vote. So when when you're like that, you're first of all, you know you're you're in a bogus system that doesn't care about you. Secondly, realistically, your time is set out for eight, two years. Like you you can't change anything really. So you're inherently disempowered. So what happens is the system needs to have false empowerment, false communities, communities that have the appearance of being intellectually tuned in to what's going on, but really don't connect to anything that is real. It's connected to something that's so compartmentalized that it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what you do. You can be the most powerful truther in the world. What good is it if you don't do anything with it? So this is what what's happening right now. What I'm seeing is that a lot of these so-called truther communities and the information in these realms is is being questioned as like, where are you going to go now? What are you going to do? What what what's the next step? Because what we're being told to believe is the system is the only thing that makes these steps for you. And that's a slave. It's worse than a slave. 
slave, at least know you a slave. If you're a slave, don't know you're a slave. Psychologically, spiritually, and physically. That's a whole different world. That's a different kind of magic. So the only way that magic stays alive when people are raising their levels of consciousness is to provide a synthetic version of expanding your consciousness or a synthetic version of being woke and enlightened and awakened and all that. So this is why you have the George Soros's behind the Black Lives Matter movement. This is why you have all the hype behind a Black Panther comic book movie in reference to um, the melanated people's history or this and that, whatever people are wanting to call it. It's supposed to represent something that's real, but it's not. In fact, it's a distraction. They've channeled all that energy into one system. So basically the point is, to stay on course without going off too much, to see the systems. You have the systems that are being presented to you on purpose, which are like Black Lives Matter, the psychology behind these Black Panther movie, psychology behind the Marvel Universe, the public education system that like empowers people, people who are empowered in politics, they feel empowered because they're a Democrat and other people because they're Republicans. You feel power, but all this is largely artificial power. It's based upon something else. It's not based upon anything that's truly connected to the essence of who and what you are. It's based upon a system that needs to exist, so it needs to have things to make you be cool with the things that are existing. <laughs> so all of the all of the programs that are out there that are completely inhumane but accepted as reality. The prison industrial complex and the military industrial complex from two examples. That's an inhumane system. You you basically have an animal an animalistic mentality wearing a human suit saying this is what you're supposed to do. It's inhumane, so this system is underneath an inhumane consciousness. Once that is, is accepted as the reality, you now have the leverage to do things from an animalistic consciousness. That, and people will accept that because they accept the theoretical universe. They accept the origin, accepted the original um, animalistic consciousness. And when that is going on, that's when you're going to have people locked into a world that is not their own. It's going to be a world that is connected to something else that is not necessarily beneficial to the individual, let alone beneficial to the large groups of people. It's going to... Yeah, that was kind of crazy sounds in my car. Anyway, let me close this out real quick. The uh, so we can see the fake empowerment movement. You got the conscious community. They, these are, like I said before, they're all following um, people. Consciousness of who? Not even going into what's going on, why it's going on, how it's going on. People only follow other people. They don't even have to know what those people are about. They just have to like them, like their personality and so on and so forth. So when people are so strong down to that, that's when you can have people, you know, celebrating their own existence from the perspective of a, a comic book. So the mainstream Hollywood community, the mainstream news community, the the conspiracy theory community, politics, obviously, the education system, these are all false empowerment movements. The new age is the next one. This is why the new age is appearing to be 
in law it's it's appearing to be the awakened space it's appearing to be enlightened but they're going to sell you something that's going to be enlightened from the perspective of the perspective of the system still needing to be alive so just imagine if like the king you, and the king is not going to give away their throne but if you're asking for the king to give away the throne and the king is actually a trickster, then the king says, oh, okay, fine, yeah, I'll step off the throne. You're going to believe that? It's a trickster king. So what's happening is people are going to believe that the wolf in sheep's clothing is actually cool now because the friends of the wolves in sheep's clothing told you so. And they created an entire belief system to back that up. So in comes all of this Oprah, Super Soul Sunday, enlightening perspectives. In comes <clears throat> these actors on in Hollywood merging over into YouTube and becoming more personal and making how their belief system more realistic to you. But all of this stuff is just designed to add credibility to the next mind control program. So the mind control programs that are having the appearance of changing, they're not changing, they're just morphing into another style, excuse me, in order to maintain the system overall. So this is why you have NASA shifting <clears throat> the new age version of NASA is SpaceX. The new age version of the new age is like Oprah and like YouTube and all this other stuff. The new age ain't new. It. It's been around for a long time. They've been prepping this mentality for a long time and just waiting to co-opt it. But the new age for the new age is when people like Oprah tune in and they're making this movie called Wrinkle in Time. Well, the Wrinkle in Time movies are going to start talking about dimensions and souls. This is where the Black Panther movie comes in and the whole Infinity Stone comes in, the Soul Stone, and that whole Infinity World. They're setting up the the uh, theoretical mechanisms through ed entertainment to make you think about your, your, the universe that they're getting ready to implode from a higher perspective, and that higher perspective is going to be based upon what they say it is. So whatever they say is going to be the end-all, be-all. Is this still recording? Here it is. So the end-all, be-all is whatever they say. And that's the thing. If you don't challenge the individual who's giving you the information, then you're still a puppet. You're still following somebody else. So you're still in the consciousness of who. You'll never be able to know what's, what's going on if you're still just following somebody else. And usually that somebody else doesn't even know themselves what's going on. So that's the, that's the system of the infinity of repetition that people are getting trapped in. And then once that's accepted, they've created an entire world, an entire cosmology based upon that, that whole world. So... That's just a, a general example of that whole fake empowerment perspective that's being played by the scientism community, being played by the conspiracy theory community. This is what Trump represents. Trump represents the idea that things are changing. That's what Alex Jones was out there for, to take all of that conspiracy movement, all that 9-11 stuff, and say, oh, well, things are changing now because we have Trump in there. Yay! He just took the wind out of, you know, 50% of the so-called conspiracy community just from his following, now having been forced to follow Trump. On the same token, you have people who are also going to be like, oh, this dude's following Trump, man, he's full of shit. I'm not even going to pay attention to him anymore. But that's going to be a smaller percentage of people because the majority of people are all followers, and they're just going to continue to follow. It doesn't matter what's going on. or It's all about who. Who you follow is who's the coolest person. So you have these individuals who represent a certain layer of consciousness. You have these ideas, these theories that represent a certain level of consciousness. Then you have the theories upon theories that represent another level of consciousness. And this is where that fake New Age universe comes in. 
and creates an alien extraterrestrial universe on top of the original lie, the heliocentric universe. So, I mean, once you're in that space, it's hard to get out unless you really get into the roots on your own. So this is what I'm saying in reference to all of these these uh, fake empowerment. Once you have fake empowerment, you can create fake kinetic energy, fake movement. This is what the Black Panther movie, re movie represents. This is what Black Lives Matter represented. It's this fake movement from fake empowerment because you have half at best and usually misinformed people, masses of people, who will only follow what's trendy. What's the latest hashtag? And not really do the research on themselves, largely because mostly people, like I said, people just will follow. But also, on the other hand, on the hands-off side, like society is designed for you to not even have enough time to think for yourself. To not even it doesn't care about the depths of who you are as a soul. Its only concern is like what's going on with. With me out there. It's only concern is what's going on with the uh, the world that keeps its synthetic world alive, and that's dangerous. It's really dangerous because that is what the wolf in sheep's sheep's clothing looks like, sounds like, and feels like tastes like, down to the food you eat and the water you drink, the air you breathe, or all of it is designed to work against you so you can, they can make a profit. So anyway, that's pretty much what I wanted to share with this video. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.